This is the last Mason Shield episode, so why don't you buckle up and join us, because it's going to be a bumpy ride. Whee! All right, the mace is done. Uh, after applying all of the color, I went over and did a layer of weathering. Um, so basically what I did was I used a black acrylic paint for all the dark areas to make it look dirty. And I just use uh, a normal brush. So for example, this uh, area right here, I would fill that in with acrylic paint with like a lot of it, and then just use a paper towel to wipe most of it away. Uh, same thing around these rivets, around the base of the uh, spikes here, uh, just to make it look dirty and grimy. Uh, mostly, <laughs> most of the paint I use gets wiped off. I did the same thing on this handle. You can see that the butt of it is kind of dirty. All of the creases and indents have all been uh, grimed up with a little bit of dirt. For the highlights on the mace, I use this Rub and Buff Silver Leaf. And that's to simulate uh, places where the finish is rubbed off and the bare metal is showing. So the tips of the spikes, a lot of these edges on the edges along the shaft here uh, are all touched with a little bit of this. And really a little bit because this goes a very long way. Usually I'll just use a paper towel to apply it. I'll put a little bit on the paper towel and then just sort of, as the name would suggest, rub and buff it on the final surface. After that, the whole thing got a good couple layers of clear coat and I let it dry. Uh, and that's it, voila, it is done. I've done all of the base colors for the shield. Uh, most of this is just spray paint that I've masked off and sprayed on. So I've got a gold metallic spray paint, I've got this off-white spray paint, I've got a tan, and then I've got a dark brown. Um, and the seams on them are only okay because I just used some normal masking tape, but that's fine, I planned it that way. Uh, what I'm going to do, and of course I've clear coated this a lot, so and let it uh, sit overnight so it's good to go. Um, I'm going to start weathering this, and the first pass that I'm doing, I'm going to do with my airbrush and a dark brown, kind of like a gradient, uh, dirty sort of layer. And I'll just go over all of the seams and the areas where you know dust and dirt would accumulate, and I uh, kind of go nuts with it. Um, so yeah, that's the next step. Got my little turntable here so I can spray and spin and uh, have a good time at it. So here's the first layer of airbrushing with that dark brown and uh, it's pretty good. I think I'm going to let it sit and maybe go over a couple more spots but then I'll clear coat it and just start doing some of the detail weathering with some darker colors, some black acrylics because right now it looks really soft. And that's what you get when you use an airbrush. Well, I'm pretty much done with the painting on the shield here. Um, I've gone over after doing the airbrushing and um, all of the seams I hit with a bunch of black paint, just brushed in there. And all of the battle damage, uh, the scratches and gouges and stuff are all just painted on there uh, with, the, with black. And then um, I hit it with some of this silver rub and buff that's my favorite thing ever and I touched up some of the edges with some silver gave it a lot of battle damage made it look all beat up uh, the back of it got more of the same some more battle damage type things here all of the seams on the wood I did a uh, black uh, put a bunch of black paint in there so it looks a little bit dirty um, now it's time to attach the handle um, I've got this t-nut in there so I can just screw this thing in place so I'm gonna glue that down so it doesn't go anywhere it'll be there forever I hope and I've got to attach the strap and then that's it then this thing is done we can call it quits time for the last step the strap this guy right here is cut from an old belt so never throw away old belts are always useful uh, I poke some holes in here with a drill just a drill press and the corresponding uh, t-nuts that I have in there are for these guys and these are just some carriage bolts I got them because they look kind of like rivets and I've painted the tops of them gold uh, so I can just go ahead and thread these guys in here like that all the way around yeah they're done 
I'm really happy that they're all done, but I had a lot of fun building them, and hopefully you guys uh, had a lot of fun watching and learned a couple things, so maybe you could go build something of your own. Uh, I'm going to go get these things packed up and sent out to Jessica, and uh, hopefully we'll see her at uh, the next convention with the giant maze and the giant shield. <laughs> Uh, if you want to know more about the builds that I'm doing, you can follow me on Twitter at Chinbeard. You can check out my Facebook page, facebook.com slash punished props. And you're watching this on my YouTube channel. That's youtube.com slash punished props. Uh, if you want to see more builds that I'll be doing in the future, then go ahead and subscribe. Uh, if you don't want to see more builds, then screw off. <laughs> no, seriously, stick around. I am.